Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie. How you doing? I'm Booger. Uh, air fryer uh, from McCormick. Air fryer garlic parmesan coating. Look at that. Huh. There was another one that I got. I can't remember, but I, I've already filmed it. So uh, I'll put a link to that one at the end if you want to see it. There was another kind too, but I didn't get it. There was three different kinds. I found this at Publix, our local Publix grocery store. But isn't it lovely? Oven ready as well. So let's follow the directions i'm not gonna change anything and look at those fries that's why they put the fries on there because they they got a, a recipe for the fries i don't have these are crinkle cut frozen fries but um i got the chicken breast because i'm gonna make a salad out of this and one chicken breast is enough for tom and i trust me that's a, it's enough so here we go one package of that uh three boneless chicken breasts which i only have one so i'm gonna use probably half the packet two tablespoons of olive oil. It says to place the coating in a shallow bowl. Can't go wrong with McCormick, I'm telling you. McCormick is awesome. Let me smell this. Right off the bat, I smell Parmesan. Wow, that is beautiful. I may use the whole thing, I don't know. We'll see. It pro I, I don't know, three, maybe. Okay, if they're huge, I'd say two. So, uh, yeah, let's brush it with olive oil. Okay. And I'm going to use the Rapid Crisp Air Fryer by DeLonghi. Be right back. And that has a bottom burner, so I don't have to flip the chicken over. Just remember, if you don't have a bottom burner in your air fryer, flip the chicken over halfway. Now, it tells you uh, to cook it at, uh, what did it say, 350. Set temperature at uh, 350. Chicken to Arrange chicken in a single layer in the air fryer basket. Set temperature to 350. Air fry 12 to 15 minutes or until chicken is cooked. Thoroughly, internal temperature 165. I say that every time I do meat. 165 for chicken, 145 for pork. So if you're doing pork chops, which I could do this with pork chops too. That would be 145 degrees. So um, 12 to 15 minutes, eh, maybe. It's a big piece of chicken, so we'll see. All right, so let me coat this. Let's see how well it does. Oh yeah, okay, let me coat this. I'm gonna change the air fryer right here and then uh, we'll cook it, we'll be back. All right, you guys, I still have half the packet in there, so I used only half of that uh, breast, okay? So uh, the other half of that package, I'm going to do some pork chops tomorrow with that. Oh, heck yes. All right, so here's the air fryer. Let me put some olive oil. Now, if you're using the basket, I would I would spray some oil as well so it doesn't, you know, stick. Don't use non-stick spray. Don't ever use Pam non-stick spray. If it just says non-stick spray, don't ever use that in your air fryer. Use olive oil spray, okay, or any other kind of oil. All right, here we go. Why? Because it's going to... How do I explain it? It's not a high temp oil. It's going to cook your enamel coating. Not enamel, excuse me. Your non-stick coating, Teflon, whatever it is. And it's going to peel off. All right, so make sure you use a high temp oil. All right, here we go. So 15 minutes, uh, maybe. Um, I'm saying about 20, but hey, let's go to manual. And I'm not gonna put it on the full blast temperature, which is number four. I always list it down below what it says, uh, the number means, the temperature it means on what setting. So that's manual number three. And I'm gonna put 25. It's not gonna take that long, but you never know. I'm gonna turn the bottom burner on. Now, if you don't have that, flip it over about 10, 10 minutes or so, okay? About 13, 14 minutes. All right, so here we go. You guys ready? I'm not spraying the top or nothing. Just leave it alone. It's already got oil under that coating. All right, so we'll be back. All right, you guys. I'm going to go at the 15-minute mark, which is what the package says. And I'm telling you, I know it's not cooked. But just to show you, we're going to wait till it gets to 10. And we'll check it out. It's a big piece of chicken, too. All right, here we go. Thermometer. Go to the thickest side. Oh, you see that? 119, 120. So definitely not. 
don't trust the instructions the cooking instructions on the package don't trust your the time or anything like that don't trust me trust this the thermometer okay that's what you need to trust so let's let it go and i'd say about 10 minutes more i think we'll be pretty go close probably overdone but i'll let you know the total cooking time all right all right you guys 21 minutes let's check it out again look how beautiful that is Spot. Don't go all the way down to the bottom of the pan. Look at that, 152. So, probably was right. 25 minutes. Let her go to 25 minutes. All right. 165. You got to reach 165 on your thermometer. We'll be back. All right, you guys. Look how beautiful that is. Beautifully cooked. 27 minutes. Okay. It went up to 167. So, just make sure you check it after at least 20 minutes. But anyways. It all depends on the size chicken as well. All right, it smells good. It smells, okay, here's the thing. Anytime you cook with Parmesan in the air fryer, it's gonna darken up really fast. It's like a magnet for heat. So lower the temp. When you're using Parmesan, it's just a little tip to you. All right, here we go, oh my gosh. And you really cannot overcook meat in the, in the air fryer. I've been doing this since 2012, you guys. There you go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That is delicious. Mm. That is so yum. That is so yum, you guys. Mm -mm -mm. It tastes like fresh Parmesan to me. Like it's not like imitation or anything. It tastes really, really nice. I get the garlic as well. Very nice. I can see doing fries with this. I can see doing pork chops with this. It's very, very delicious. Like you could do fried zucchini with this, anything. Very nice, McCormick, you did it again. Props to you guys. And thanks for coming out with air fryer stuff. You gotta adjust the temperatures according to your thermometer. So again, if you see it's getting dark too fast, lower the temperature. You don't have to cook everything on full blast in your air fryer, you know what I mean? So you guys, I'm gonna give this a good five out of five okay it's worth it you see this in the store you better get it good job mccormick all right guys thanks for shopping leave me a thumbs up bye mm -hmm.